boys and girls are different, and I know, I'm a Spanish. The girl, she wants to get married and have the babies. But before the church and the wedding and the fighting, is the engagement, okay? Now, the girl, she doesn't want to lose her fiancé boy because then no wedding, no babies, and she's ugly. So she wants to keep him happy. And how she going to keep him happy? The jiggy jiggy. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying. It's give and it's take, Derek. Where I come from in Spain, us boys, we has this saying, when the ring go on, is something come off. Now you know what I'm saying. What? You just get engaged to a girl and she comes across with the goods? Look, it's give and take, Denzel. Then a week or so later, before she starts talking about lampshades, you let her see you're drunk, she chucks the ring back at you. It's easy, ask him. You've had a lark, you've still got your ring. Next! So you've got to sign a higher purchase agreement with the jewellers every time you want to get your leg over. You don't go nowhere near a jewellers. Cast your minces on this. Where'd you get that from? Remember Abdul Khan from school? Well, his dad owns the Bermondsey Wholesale Jewellery Emporium. See, a lot of these rich old biddies are putting their real jewellery in the bank, and Mr Carr makes up imitations for them. See, that's not a real diamond. It's glass. But it looks real. What girl's going to know the difference? That's illegal. No, it's not. Where does it say you got to give a girl a real diamond to get engaged? In the Bible. No, it doesn't. I've read the Bible from start to finish. I'm very religious. I bought four of them for a pound. <laughs> so who's the unlucky lady, then? I haven't made my mind up yet. But you'll soon know when I do, because I won't be sitting in a milk bar drinking frothy coffee with a bunch of eunuchs. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying.